everyone and welcome to a brand new speed build. Today I have a couple's bungalow and as you can probably tell from we already having a shell and also from the t thumbnail, that's what it's called, <laughs> but also from the thumbnail and um, title and everything, this is also an entry for a shell challenge. It's hosted by the absolutely wonderful uh, Honey Mae Sims. Like if you don't know who she is, go and follow her. I will link her down below. Um, I will, if she has a link to her, I will link that. Otherwise I will link to both her or to her, um, I was going to say both to her, but that means I think if you have two, but I'm going to link to her, um, what's it called? YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, but if she has a link to her, I will just link that instead, but you should definitely go and check her out. She is so nice too. Like she is just so nice. Everyone should go and check her out. Uh, but she is hosting this, uh, shell challenge. I don't know if it's because she reached 20k on Instagram, which is insane. Like, congrats on that. You deserve that so much. I don't know if you're watching this, but if you are, you deserve that so much. Um, all of her builds are just incredible. And again, she's so, so nice. So everyone, everyone go and check her out. And she totally deserves those 20k. Um, but in the like post, I don't think she mentions it. But in the comments, there are a lot of like congrats on it. So maybe it's because of that. Maybe not. Um, anyways, I'm just entering for fun because I don't know. I didn't know what to do. Um, I've been kind of in a builder's block. Um, that's not even what it's, is that what it's called? A builder's block? I think so. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, I've not had any inspiration to build. Um, well, I do now, but I didn't. For like the past month, I haven't built like anything. But then um, I wanted to build something, but I didn't know like what to build. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, this is a great opportunity for me to get back into it. And now I am back into it and I'm building a lot again, uh, which is great. But um, this was just a very good way for me to get back into it. And I absolutely love how this came out. Um, I think it's a very cute house. I did not think it was going to be a couple's bungalow until like I was doing the interior like when I was starting in the living room I was like oh this could be for like a couple that would be kind of cute um so yeah it's just it's a kind of like a small house too um so yeah I don't know and the attic area is like functional I made that into a um office I think and I think I talked about this in my last video because I did a similar thing in that house um and I don't know like anytime I have that kind of area upstairs like I always make that into an office or like a hobby room and I don't know why I just do it um but yeah so it's like it's just for a couple living here I think I also put so they have a dog if I don't remember wrong I think yeah I think it's for a dog um it's either for a cat or a dog but I'm pretty sure it's for a dog otherwise if you want a cat I think it's a very easy fix you just have to put a litter box somewhere I don't know where we would put that because it would not fit in the bathroom but you could put that maybe outside I don't know um but yeah I don't know it's just a very cute little house um also the interior I <laughs> I've been, I don't know, I've been stuck in doing like this same interior now for a while um, and I'm trying to get out of it, but it's just something with it. I don't know why I'm just starting to like get really into like light interiors, but also this where it's like, it's not traditional, but it's not modern. It's like, I guess there's like a regular interior. Like I think this is how a house would be furnished kind of um, if you were like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, but I feel like it's like a young couple's house. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Um, also, it doesn't have to be for a couple at all. Like you can just have a single sim living here. I was just thinking that it would be for a couple. Um, also, I'm like 99% sure this is not going into my save file. Uh, maybe actually, maybe it is. I don't know. Cause on the lot that I built this on, I think the house that I have that now, I don't want to have there anymore. Uh, cause I don't really like that house anymore. Cause I built that like two years ago. So I've been meaning to like kind of change that. So maybe I will do this one instead. I don't know, but it would be kind of cute. I don't know. I also kind of, well, maybe I should have like a starter home because like the base game starter home that I built a couple of months ago, um, it's going to be on the lot next to this in Newcrest. Um, also ignore the house that is next to this. I know you have not seen that. I, <laughs> I don't know if you will ever see that. I think it's kind of cute and like the exterior is done, but like the interior is not done at all. I've not even started on it and I started building that like a year ago. So don't mind that that's there. <laughs> don't mind that that's there um but next to this like in my save file like if okay if we look at uh, new crest for my save file uh, the lot next to this one um we'll have the base game starter house and then i don't know maybe i i'm thinking either i'm gonna do another starter house here or just maybe have this or another house i don't know we'll see um i need to stop saying we'll see i think i see that say see that say that way too much honestly um but yeah i don't know this this video is kind of short too because like it's a very small house so i don't really and also i don't really know what to talk about oh i can't talk about reshade um <laughs> So obviously I built this before the whole reshade crisis happened um, and everything. So I talked about this in my last video, but if you didn't know, reshade basically like broke. Or if you don't have 
if you had a version that was not the newest version of reshade it just broke like mxc i think it was mxco that broke like you could not use mxco um and for a lot of people including me mxco is a very big part of our building um or like our game like we need mxco basically um i you i didn't used to have mxco and now i'm just like i'm hooked on it like i have to have it um but yeah i built this before that so for this one i am using reshade um and i am using this new preset that adam made for me which i've talked about a few times before um but this is actually the first video you're seeing with it and i absolutely love this one but because of the reshade crisis it actually broke like that that one just broke um because when i because <laughs> i was stupid and i like this is totally on me i just i didn't um like back up any of my reshade presets i just added them when i because i reinstalled or i installed like the newest version of reshade and um that does not have all the effects from the other ones like that's why some people are not using that one anymore or using g shade instead because it does not have um all the effects of the the older versions of reshade i, I don't know exactly remember what it is but it it's like one specific thing which is pretty vital to a lot of reshades um or to all the presets so when i <laughs> when i added the um what is it like the 5.1.0 version of reshade i think it was that one when i added that one i just added in this preset um and it was it like it did not look right it was there was something off with it i think it's because it does not have the one thing um and then because i didn't back it up it automatically just saved to that so when because now i have g-shade i'm using g-shade instead um if you didn't if you don't know what g-shade is it's like ray shade but another version of it like I don't, I don't even know but it's it, it works the same way basically um but so when i added this <laughs> preset into that it was broken um not broken actually it just it did not look right um but then adam again made me another preset because he's the best person ever um and so i have another preset now <laughs> that is also made by him it looks similar to this one so you will see that in future videos at some point um but yeah so if you're wondering what reshade i'm using in this one it was one made by um by my friend adam um but <laughs> it's gone it's gone um so yeah sorry about that um actually no i can't find it because i shared it to one of my friends because they wanted it or it was no it's probably like in a discord server or something i don't know i shared it somewhere so i could get it again i think but i don't know if i want to because i like i love my new one so um anyways <laughs> that's what i'm using and then also for of course for screenshots i am again using my heavily edited version of dove um so <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i think i've talked about it before like it's just it's not really dev anymore it's just it's just it's just how it is mine um but i think the screenshots for this one though is um with taken with g-shade because yeah yeah they are because um i took them recently actually i think i have to retake them because um i have still have to change because again like dove kind of broke for me too um when that whole thing happened so because i <laughs> was the whole thing because i installed g-shade after i installed um the 5.1.0 version of reshade um and then, like, after that, all my presets were just, like, not right anymore. Um, so I did fix, like, Dove, so, like, now it looks good. But it's still, like, a little dark, so I think I have to fix it again <laughs> for the screenshots and stuff. So we'll see. Um, again with the we'll see. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I don't think... Like, I think a lot of you just don't care, and you're just like, Mal, shut up about Reshade. You talk about this in every video now. You don't even know it. Like, shut up. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. That's why I just keep talking about reshade. Oh, I can't talk about last week. We got two new kits, um, which I know people are not the biggest fan of kits. Um, I, I think I like them. Like I, I like them, but I don't like the idea of them. Does that make sense? Like, I think it's a way for the Sims team to like earn money and stuff. Um, and I think it's like some of them are just like, but you could have just added this to like a stuff pack or something. Cause I would rather have a stuff pack than a quit kit. But also I can't deny that I like love the blooming rooms kit. Um, I love the country catching kit. I just, I love the kits so much, especially like the building ones. Like I use them all the time. So like, I can't deny that I like them. Um, but last week we got two new ones. Um, one cast kit, which I have not gotten, but I kind of want to, because again, I've been really into cast lately, <laughs> which is weird, but also I use a lot of CC. Like I use a lot of CC. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, <laughs> but I did get the um, little campers kit, I think is what it's called. And it's so cute. It is so, so cute. Like, I cannot. Um, I don't know when you're going to see a video with it, though. Maybe in a few weeks or something. But um, because I have a few other videos, too, to get up. But I kind of have this one build that I kind of want to get up because it just uses that one. But it's so cute. And, like, the swing set now. Like, the new swing set is so cute. Although... Okay, I have two issues with it. <laughs> First of all, which I think you've you've probably heard about, is that fact that the oh, what is that called? It's like you know those big bears and like stuffed bear, 
bears. <laughs> those stuffed bears we have and stuff like that. And we got like another one of those. But they, they priced it at one simoleon. And I don't think they meant to do that. Like I don't think they were meant to do that. They just accidentally put it into the game with one simoleon as the value of it. So now it's just hilarious. Um, <laughs> like people on Twitter are just like making fun of it. And just it's really funny. Um, but also the fact that the new swing set that I love. It's so pretty. I'm going to use that at every single build ever. <laughs> it's so pretty. But the fact that that does not show up in the like outdoor activity category, it only shows up in kids, like kid activity. Like what is up with that? Like what is up with that? Because you know, like when I, I think you have noticed that when I'm building, um, when I'm using like decorations, stuff like that, I will go into like the, all the decorations and you know, like all the items thingies. But otherwise you, most of the time I will go through like the rooms and like find objects through there. <laughs> does that make sense? So, you know, in the, um, like, left side of the UI, when you're building, um, there's, like, the, like, you have the search bar, and then under that, there is the building, like, where you get, like, the, the walls, wallpaper, landscaping, like, all of that, and then under that, there's rooms, like, you can go through, like, oh, and here, here's a, here's, what? <laughs> what did it just say? And here are the objects for, like, an office, or, like, here are the objects that usually go into a living room and stuff like that. And usually I go through that because it's just easier. Um, and I always go through the, um, like, the outdoor category, <laughs> the outdoor room, if that makes sense. Which I think is the last one on that list. Um, I always go through there, and then I go through, like, all the activities that usually you have outdoors. Because it's really helpful for me, at least. Like, that's how I build faster also. Like, well, since I started using like doing that I start to build faster um and when I do that with the outdoor category like usually I go through the activities right but it does not show up there and at first I was like huh is it not even like a functional swing set then but no it is it's just it's not there and I just don't know why so if anyone could explain that to me because like all the other swing okay we have two other swing sets but the two other swings that we have in game are there so like why is that one not it should be there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, can I just get it there? Um, but yeah, that's like, but otherwise I really, really like the kit. It's really cute. Um, and people are doing so many cute things with it too. And it's just, it's adorable. Um, and it kind of, it's making me want to build a park, <laughs> which I need to do for the save file, but also like parks, like community lots in general scare me, but parks do like a lot because like, what do you, like, how do you, how do you structure a park? I don't know. <laughs> But I have to build a lot of them for my save file. I've built one, um, like, ages ago. It's up on my gallery. Um, that is for, um, what's it called? For Windenburg. Um, and it's, I really like that one. But, like, that one is also really small. It was a, kind of, like, a more modern park. And it was, like, it was easy. And then I think I renovated Magnolia Prom Pr Promenade. <laughs> what did I just say? Magnolia Promenade. Is that is, that's not even what it's called. That's a world. What is that park called? Maybe it's called that. You know, the, 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 park in willow creek what is that called it's called magnolia something i think watch me be completely wrong and you guys are just laughing at me but anyways <laughs> i renovated that park ages ago too which is also up in my gallery but um i was and that was going to go into my save file but then i was like um this is trash this is not going in here um so i changed it <laughs> that one is no longer gonna be there the thing with that is now that i have to do more parks um so there is that but now we're just back to where i don't know what to talk about anymore <laughs> um what can we talk about? I don't know. I don't know. I need to, like, I feel like because I haven't done voiceovers in a long time, and not actually a long time, but you get rusty from it, not even doing it for like a week, but now it's been a month. I mean, I have do, done two now, but um, <laughs> before this one, I guess, but still like I, you, I used to be able to just talk about whatever, like just rant about whatever, but now I have to get into it again. <laughs> But also because, like, I don't know what to talk about because my life is not interesting at all. Um, plus, I have no idea when this is going up. I think it's going up next week at some point. I don't know. Because I don't have an upload schedule anymore, I'm just uploading whenever. Um, although, I'm going to try to upload at 5 p.m. CET now. Central European time, if you didn't know. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to try to upload that time. I just don't know what days anymore. Um, but I'm gonna try to do it twice a week too. It depends. Um, cause I think maybe, I don't, actually, I don't know about this week because I do have a lot of things this week and, um, yeah. And I have the speech thing, which is fun. If you didn't watch my last video, I have to do a speech at school. Um, and it's not just like a, it, it's not just like a regular like speech in English class. It's a whole thing. And it's gonna, I don't even think I mentioned this in my last video, but it's gonna be filmed and put up on YouTube. Um, <laughs> which is scary. Like, I, and I, I hope none of you find it because, like, that would be 
not fun. Um, also, you, I don't think, well, you would know it was me because you have seen my face and you have seen my voice, but um, I really hope you wouldn't because that means that you would find my school. So don't, don't even try to look for it. Um, <laughs> but it's like a, it's a speech thing and um, I am excited for it, but also I am nervous. So there's that. I don't know why I decided to do that. Um, <laughs> But it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. But yeah, I don't know. Also, like I tried to put stairs up here. Um, and, like at first I wanted to have stairs up to the attic area, but they just would not fit. <laughs> like with the floor plan and downstairs, it was they they would not fit at all. So and stairs instead I put a ladder. But also the ladder is like in the middle of the room, which made it really hard. And like the layout up here is just weird. Also, there's a lot of plants, which also like I don't know how they got everything up here through a ladder, but they did. And that's, a, like, good on them. <laughs> good on them. You know, we don't have to have everything being realistic here. Um, it's totally fine. Also, I think if it was, like, more an attic area, they probably would have, like, storage up here. But no, they just have activities and, like, a desk and stuff. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Don't worry. It makes sense. It makes sense. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I really like this house. Um, but anyways, that's basically it for this video. And I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to go and check out Honey May. I will link her down below. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!